What's up, everybody? It's George Gabriel, and this is part three of You Are Using Logic All Wrong. Now in part two, I showed you how to de-garage bandize logic and get rid of all those things that are preventing you from having more real estate to write your songs with. Things like getting rid of the dock, getting rid of those extra little faders and pans that are preventing you from having more bars, not being tempted by that big master fader on top, also squeezing your channels so you get more real estate on your tracks. And now that you've set up your session exactly the way you want it, I encourage you to save it as an auto load or your own template as a jumping off point for everything that you do. That way you don't have to recreate the wheel every single time. Well, now that you're ready to start composing something, you're tempted by the library. And I'm gonna show you why you never really ever wanna use library. Check this out. So let's move on to the next thing. One of the things that you're doing wrong in Logic is you're using library. Now, I know it seems convenient to use library because like, hey, look, they've done this for us. They've organized all the instruments for us. They're all ready to go and I have all these options. Let me tell you something. This is a deception. You do not want to use library because while it has everything set up nice and nice, what it's doing is crazy. Let me show you. So we're going to look at the library right now and we're going to see that they have lots of options. So you. You can start with a bass or a drum kit or, you know, a guitar or keyboards. And you'll notice that I haven't have everything downloaded because that's by design. I never use the library. And you're saying, hey, the library is good, man. Like I use it all the time. Here's why you don't want to use the library. Let's just go to synthesizers, for instance. OK, let's find this uh, well, let's, uh, early morning lead. Let's see what we got here. So I dial this thing up. And what do I see? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven effects. Now, really, this better be a really good sound and sound for seven effects. This better knock my socks off. Here, let's see what we got. Wow, that is just profound. Now, just think about this. We're using seven effects to get this. Really? Come on. This is way too many effects. Think about all the processing power that you're using for what to get a sound like this. I bet you if we take all this stuff off, it probably wouldn't be uh, that much better. How profound are these effects affecting this? Practically the same sound, maybe a little less reverb, whatever. But the point is why? Why do we have to have all these effects on this? This is almost absurd. Uh, let's take a look at something else. Gritty lead. Oh, same deal. Except now we've got uh, additional buses. This really better be good. I guess my point is that when you're using library now, not of you only have like seven effects on this, but now if we look at a little mixer, You've added some bus. I mean, look how egregious that is. That's ridiculous. I mean, who decides this stuff? Like, hey, this sound is really good, but, you know, if I put a compressor and some EQ and let's put an ensemble and a phaser on it, uh, and let's throw a little overdrive and a little stereo delay, and then let's compress it again. We're going to compress the beginning. We're going to compress the beginning. Come on, really, guys? And then we're going to throw it on... Uh, a couple buses, and by the way, we're going to throw some courses on those buses, but we're not going to turn the courses on because, you know, we might want them, we might not want them, but let's just throw them on there. If I look at this, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 effects for this sound. This is not how it's supposed to be done. See, Logic sets this up so you can have um, your own sounds. It's got a whole bunch of software sounds. It's got a whole bunch of effects. And guess what? You're the creator. You are the person who's going to have the creation that you want to choose. So while this may seem convenient, it's really not convenient because now you've just added 13 effects onto one sound. Now, if you're making a composition that has like 20 sounds, you do the math. Your computer's going to be like, stop, help me. I'm drowning in effects that you can't even tell what's going on. So do not use library. See, if we're going to look at the proper way to do this, we're going to go into uh, a software instrument and say, 
Hey, let's pull up. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of the library window altogether because yikes. I'm just going to pull up a nice software instrument. Uh, let's just go to Alchemy. That's got some good sounds in it. And let's pull up our synth lead and let's just find something uh, that might be good. I mean, really, is this sound that much different than the one that had 13 effects on it and, you know, with two additional buses? Not really. This is the proper way to do it. You actually want to just dial up a synth and find your sound. So I go through these sounds until you find something you're like, hey, I like this. Now this is already pretty affected as it is. Why would I need to throw a compressor, an EQ, a, another compressor, a phaser, a ensemble? It's really already here. So, you have just saved yourself 13 effects worth of processing power by not using library, and in the end of the day, you're gonna have a sound that's pretty good by itself without all the fanfare. And once you start getting into the extra buses, so like think one of those things had two buses. So if you have 20 of those things and they each have one, two buses, now you get like 40, 50 buses and you've got like, I don't know, hundreds of effects to get what? What's the advantage? Do not use library. It is just ridiculous. I mean, you can download the sounds. Hey, download them all everything they got, but do not dial them up using library because you're going to have a processing nightmare on your hands. Mm -mm. That's it for part three of you are using logic all wrong. Check out part four where I talk about how you shouldn't go from tracks to stereo out because that's not how we do things. We collect things in buses. That's the smart way. That's how you get that studio sound. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell icon, and I'll see you next time on George Gabriel Music.